Hello! Today we will do a short overview of the SkyChain platform. The SkyChain platform brings together three key players in the medical solutions market based on the use of artificial intelligence in medicine. Health data providers, artificial intelligence developers in the medical field, and end users. In this video, we will demonstrate a prototype platform based on three key processes. The process of providing medical data by the data provider, the process of downloading and teaching the neural network by the developer of the neural network, and the process of obtaining the result from the trained neural network. Here we see the main page of the SkyChain platform. Let's enter the system. Here we see the main user profile page of the platform. First, we'll look at the process of downloading and publishing medical data. On this page, you can see medical data sets, which have already been downloaded. Now let's create a new set. When creating a new data set, you must specify a name and a description of the data set. You can also specify the data structure of the data set and the cost of its use. The data set consists of three parts. A set of data for teaching a neural network. Let's load it. A set of data for testing the automatic issuance of a neural network rating. And an evaluation data set for the developer. Load the data set into the platform. Here we see that our data set is now loaded and we can now publish it. Let's publish it. The data set is now published. You can continue working with it. Let's consider the following process the process of downloading and teaching the neural network. Let's go to the catalog of our neural networks. It's empty for the time being. Let's create a new network. Let's give it a name. Let's give it a description and set a price for using the neural network. The neural network is now created. So let's proceed with creating a version of the neural network. Let's give the version a name and a description. And now load the implementation of our neural network. And we will specify the XML description of the input data. The version is created. And now we can determine the training program for the neural network. Let's give our training program a name. And then we define the actual program. We will conduct the training in 90 epochs. We will divide the whole learning process into two stages. And for each stage, we will set its own learning parameters. Let's save the training program. The program is now created. Now we can start teaching our neural network. Let's choose the version of the neural network and the program. And we can start the training process. On this page, we can see the log of the neural network's teaching process. And now we can see that our network has started to learn. And so, our network has been taught. Now let's go to the process of publishing the network. For this, you must install the active version. But first, you need to set the active state for the version of the trained network. We set the active state of the version for the trained network. Now the version can be made active. And we activate the version. And now you can publish the network. Let's publish our network. 
our network is published and you can start using it. Let's move on to the last process, the process of using our trained network. We create a new request to the network. In the directory of all the created neural networks, we can see the network we created. We make a request to it. As we described in the Neural Network Manifest, only one image is accepted to the input network. Select it and create a request to this network. And so we've got the results of the network's operation. In this video, we demonstrated the three key platform processes. The process of downloading and publishing a set of medical data, downloading and teaching neural networks, and the process of using a neural network.